The next series of videos are just going to be examples of HTML content that you can put into Adobe Muse. So you, I mean, once you get the idea of doing this, as long as you can find the code from somewhere for something, you can stick it in here. But I want to give you some cool things. <laughs> so with your site open, open up the Go Green page, double click. We are going to insert a Twitter feed onto this page. So come under View, come to View Fit Page and Window, and you might want to move the panels out of the way a little bit. Go to a browser. And I want you to do a search, and you're going to find that this is the case for a lot of different types of, like, let's say, social media. Search for Twitter widget. Make sure you go to Google. I'm not typing that in. This is Chrome, so it lets me search. And you will find Twitter widgets. Click on Twitter widgets, and it's going to say, okay, well, where? what do you want to do? Do you want to put something on your website? Sure. Click on my website. You can try almost any one of these. There's some really great things you can do. You can do a search widget so that somebody can search for you. Um, you can put in, whoops, my website, uh, favorites widgets, list widgets. I'm going to do a profile widget. So click on profile. It's, it's going to basically put a box out in your page and put your Twitter feed. So you're going to see all the things that you've tweeted. Come to username and type in your own if you've got one. Otherwise, you can use this one. No park cleanup clean up and it's going to look different than you have over here eventually but scroll down a bit and you're going to see the test settings button right down here click on that and it should come up this will look different i'm going to add tweets as we go here but th that's it you add your username you can finish and grab the code copy paste it in there or we can go in and change how it looks let's do that click on preferences we can do things like uh include a scroll bar Timed interval, load all tweets, how many tweets do you want to see? You can try all these different things. Click Appearance, and we can go in and change the colors. If you come up here to Widget Colors, we can type in colors, or you can click on this little color box. Um, I'm going to actually just make this white. You're just going to move around in here if you want. I'll click Done. Come to the text, and we're going to make it some kind of gray, darkish gray, so you can see it. There we go. We'll come to the tweet background and make that a light gray, maybe. You can obviously try whatever you want to do here. We're going to change the color in there, make it kind of a darkish gray. It's not going to look that great, but anyway. Come to the links. You can make the links any color you want. It's your call. Um, I'm going to be just bland and make them a simple light gray, something that's still readable. Like I said, do what you want. Then if you go to dimensions over here on the left, you can change how big it's going to be. I'm going to make sure that this is going to be about something like um, 400 wide. And you can type in a, a 300 or something like that for height. That's fine. The widget size will not update in the preview, so you won't see it over here. Click Test Settings. And it looks like it. Uh, some weird things going on there. I'm going to make sure if I go back to Appearance that everything looks fine. Tweet Background Links. Shell Text. Okay. I just don't, I don't trust this. But anyway, you can always come back and, fin and edit it later. Click Finish and Grab Code. Put your cursor in here. It should select it all. Right click. You can copy it or use your shortcuts. Go back to Muse. Okay, back in Muse here. Here's one of the great things about this HTML. We can do the same way we did it last time by insert HTML and then pasting into the dialog box. Or in most cases, you can just come up to Edit, Paste. It takes and looks at it and says, oh, I know what that is. That's HTML code. There's our Twitter feed. So I'll move it over here. Put it somewhere on the right. We can move it around a little bit later on. Once again, the, the box that it's in, not going to matter as far as width is concerned. You can keep it that width. Come to preview. Let's test it out. And there we go. Now, this is wrong. This is clearly wrong what I want. So I'm going to go fix that up a little bit. I'm going to go back over to the browser. Come back to appearance. You can always edit it, like I said. We're going to go to the tweet background and make sure it's a little bit lighter. That's what it should look like. I'll click Done. Beautiful. I'll go to the shell text and make sure that it is a darker color. This is just blowing up on me here. Test settings. Wow. It is not working. That is great. All right. This should be working, everybody. I'm not sure why it's, it's kind of being grabby right now. But anyway, I'll finish and grab code. Copy it once again. Come back to Muse. To edit this, 
make sure it's selected, right click HTML, you can paste, and it's still not working. That's great. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, oh, there we go, kicking in. Beautiful. It's still messing up my text a little bit, but I want to show you a little trick here that you may or may not want to do. If you go to edit the code here, right click HTML, you're going to see that uh, some of these scripts or some of these things will put the coloring and things like that in what's called CSS, and you'll see it listed in here. So we've got things like the color of the tweets, color of the head, the shell, that sort of thing. Here is the color. You're going to see shell. Here's the color of the text up there. I'm going to change that to a little bit darker, like 33333. That's a gray. Don't edit this if you don't feel comfortable. I'll click OK. There we go. OK. Go to Preview. Take a look at it. See what we get. And beautiful. It's pretty big, pretty tall. I don't have enough uh, tweets to fill it up. But like I said, if you're looking at these videos six months from now, there's probably going to be more tweets in there. So don't worry about that. Excellent. Go back to Design. Save your site. Next thing we're going to take a look at is inserting a Google Driving Direction. My favorite.